Hello and a very warm welcome. Charles Leclerc wins in Red Bull's backyard. It wasn't plain sailing. He had a throttle issue at the end. But he's over the line and wins the Austrian Grand Prix. We jump into the race and on the first lap, George and Perez collided. George was as tight as he could be on the kerb. Perez was round the outside. Slam dunk penalty for George Russell. Yeah. Charles overtook Max and it was quite clear to see Ferrari had the pace today on Red Bull. Gasly and Guang Yu Zhou picked up penalties for track limits and Gasly punted Seb in the gravel, a bit like George and Perez incident. Yeah, so there we have it. Uh, fastest lap, I believe it was Max. Race rating 6 out of 10. Star of the race, Mick Schumacher. So let's run down the order. P1, Charles Leclerc. He, he's great. Really good for Ferrari. Back-to-back -back wins as well for Ferrari as a team. Yeah, they were the faster car today. Leclerc had big issues at the end with a throttle issue, but he's brought it home and won the race. P2, Max. Red Bull didn't have the pace today. Ferrari were quicker, plain and simple. Still good points for Max. P3, Lewis. And the third consecutive podium in a row. Uh, which is positive. But the reality is, once again, they only get a podium because of others fucking up. Mercedes are very reliable and will be there to pick up the pieces. But yeah, they're miles off the top two. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's good, but... It's also not good because they're too far off. P4, George Russell. Big mistake with the Perez contacts. Got a penalty. Had to change his front wing. But it's actually a good fight back by George. Given he had a five second penalty. Then he had to change the wing. His pit stop will have been like so long. Not bad. P5, Esteban Ocon. Very solid weekend for Esteban Ocon. P6 and my star of the race, Mick Schumacher. Back-to-back -back points. He scores points at Silverstone. It's amazing the confidence it brings. And Haas have been quick all week. P7, Lando Norris. That's very good. Given he had a five-second penalty also. Eighth, Kevin Magnussen. Very strong for Haas. Ninth, Daniel Ricciardo. That'll give him a bit of confidence. Points. Yeah, McLaren. Double points finish. After a tough weekend, I'll take it. P10, Fernando Alonso. From the back of the grid to P10. Impressive. P11, Valtteri Bottas. P12, Alex Albon. Yeah. Not much to say about them two. 13th, Lance Stroll. 14th, Guang Yu Zhou had a track limits penalty. 15th, Gasly. He had an awful weekend. Track limits. Uh, punted off Sebastian. Contact with Lewis in the sprint race. Awful. 16th, Vettel. Uh, yeah, his race was ruined after he got punted off. 17th, one foot one, Yuki Tsunoda. Awful. Dreadful weekend by Yuki, really. DNFs, Checo. Obviously, big damage with a contact with George. Latifi. And Carlos Sainz with a big engine fire. Like, big blowout. And then he was trying to stop the car from rolling back. And the fire was massive. It was an okay race. It wasn't a classic, but there was a bit of overtaking. I, I wish it kind of was a full safety car at the end. Then we would have got a proper fight, but yeah. Ferrari win. Max, decent points. Lewis back on the podium. And Haas doing really well. So yeah, an enjoyable race. Not a classic, but it was okay. Join me tomorrow for driver ratings. Uh, yeah. Comment down below your thoughts. Would love to know. Charles wins in Austria.